Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me UFO. In today's video I want to show you how to set up a GPU pass-through system running on Arch Linux. First of all, uh, if we want to make this as optimized as possible with the with, uh, least amount of reboots, I recommend doing few things already. Uh, the first thing, the first few things is uh, setting up your BIOS in this case is uh, enabling Intel Virtualization Tech if you're using Intel and Intel VTD uh, and you must find this in your BIOS I don't know how wh which mother will do you so you must find it for yourself and if you are re running on AMD a computer you must look for uh, for what it was for uh, AMD VI there it is in your BIOS then after setting that I recommend if your BIOS has it, mine has it, switch uh, your starting uh, graphics card. In my opinion I change it from uh, the dedicated one to the uh, integrated one. So the dedicated graphics card, in my, in my case a uh, GTX 1070, doesn't start at boot. So only the integrated graphics card does. If you have two graphics cards, you don't care about it. You just set up that the, the, the card you want to use on Linux starts first and the other one doesn't start. And for this option also, I can't help you because everyone has a different motherboard, everyone has a different BIOS, so you must find it yourself. After you set up the BIOS, so you turn on the virtualization, the AMD virtualization the, or the Intel virtualization, and after you say you, you disable the card you want to use on the virtual machine and, and uh, enable or force or, or activate the card you want to start uh, your system with, in my case the integrated one because I don't have two dedicated graphics cards, I have my i7-6700K integrated graphics card if I remember correctly uh, it was a uh, Intel HD graphics 530 there it is this is a freshly installed system just for this purpose. Uh, after you, you reboot, you must add a kernel parameter, and the kernel par parameter, uh, par uh, the kernel parameter in this case is iomuon. If you have Intel, it's Intel underscore iomuon. If you have AMD under, if you have AMD, it's AMD underscore iomuon, and you put this into your kernel parameter. If you are using group, you put it into your kernel parameters. On group, if you're using systemd boot, as I'm using, you put it into the after the options. I can show you right now: cat, boot, loader, um, entries, arch, and you put it right there. After rw, you put intel iom you on. After you set up this, you must reboot. <coughs> this is a kernel parameter. After you've you've done that. After you enabled the uh, IOMU into the BIOS, after you set up this, you can reboot, and this is pretty much all if you are talking about the reboots. Now we can start uh, uh, setting up the virtual machine. <coughs> or, first of all, we must isolate this, the, the PCIe slot. So I will clear this one. I'll put my terminal right there, the browser right there. Come on. Uh, quit this <coughs> and so we enabled IOMU in, in the BIOS we enabled IOMU as a kernel parameter in our bootloader now we can proceed with this command I, I can copy it directly I will leave the link in the description in the description you, you have all the necessary links uh, so I can just paste it and as you can see it does see my it, it does show something so if if it if it if it does show something that means it's working fine now we can use this script we, we can like we can we can use this command only in my opinion just to find out the the ID of our card. Let's copy just this command. You can, you can copy the entire script. You know what? We can do the entire script right now. Vim 
Yeah, let's 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 do it like mm, I don't know a fifio dot sh. There it is. I can copy this entire thing, paste it right there, uh, save ch ch mod plus x vfio uh, and then vfio. There it is, and we have our PCIe IDs. In our case we must look for NVIDIA or AMD or whatever are you using in my case I'm looking for... oh there it is I am group 1 and I have a 1070 and the 1070 also has audio output via HDMI and via DisplayPort and this is our group this is our ID, this one and this one this is kinda kind of important already I think it, 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 it will be pretty useful saving this like on a different file let's start another uh, let's start another terminal vim and I'll copy this pretty quickly so I don't have to search for it another time oh, I have too many terminals there it is okay now that it's saved I don't have to look for it later <coughs> so you must find your graphics card right there after you found out your, your graphics card you uh, you can save the ID as I uh, as I have done because it's pretty handy later we have you, we must isolate it so what we do we have our IDs this ones this this entire thing is the ID and this entire thing is the ID We create a vfio.conf in ADC mode prop.d and we isolate the the IDs. So let's go with vim vim on a sudo vim ADC mod probe d if vfio.conf mod prop vim ADC mode prop d vfio.conf I think I haven't forgot anything. If I'm right, yes, I haven't forgot anything. So we isolated uh, the IDs, <coughs> both of the IDs. So. so options VFIO IDs. I can copy this part, paste it right there, and paste the IDs. So this is the first ID. Why? Why you do this to me? Okay, never mind. I can put it manually. I don't know why it's not copy pasting. Copy pasting it. Let's put it right there. Uh, ten, de, one, b, eight, one, and the second one. So ten, de. Then F0. After that, we have our IDs isolated. So I can save this file. I don't think I'll need this anymore, but I, I'll keep it anyway. Now we have to add a. What is this? Now we have to add the modules in mkinit cpio.conf modules. And we have to add this one, two, three, four more rules. And after that, we'll have to reboot. Uh, after that, after that, we'll, uh, we'll have to regenerate the, uh, the init from uh, file system and then reboot. So let's uh, modify sudo adc uh, sudo vim adc mk init mkinitcpio.conf let's search for modules oh there it is modules it's empty so we can add our modules let's copy this let's let's paste this okay after the modules don't quit this file because we have to ha to add a hook it's the modconf hook and there are the 
hooks. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Oh, there it is. Hooks. Oh, and it's already there. Modconf is already in the hooks, so we don't have to add it. Mm, so we save the file. Then we do m sudo m mk init cpio minus p linux mk init i forgot the t there it is is rebuilding the initial ram disk after this i will have to reboot so i'll make a cut right there and we can continue after i reboot okay so i'm 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 pausing the recording there i'll reboot pretty quickly and uh, we see each other in few seconds okay guys so we are back after regenerating the in it in the initial ram disk we can check if everything is working fine so let's copy this command pretty quickly and let's see if it's uh, if it's working fine oh wait uh, D. and as you can see we have uh, our graphics our, our our graphics card is this one so this means it's it's working so what do we do now we install the virtualization software we isolated the GPU now we have to use this isolated GPU in a virtual machine so we install one, two, three, four packages and for the networking if I remember correctly we should also install like uh, EP tables, uh, netmask and similar if I remember correctly but never mind let's install this sudo pacman minus s quick emulation libvirt ovmf and virt manager password yes <coughs> okay it's it's okay it's done now we can add this uh, line in the uh, in the key, in the quick emulation configuration file, so we can create a UFI virtual machine. I told about this in my uh, Windows 10 um, virtual machine settings. Like you can check it up on uh, YouTube pretty quickly. YouTube, I'm not logged in because this is a fresh install. There it is. And I, I told it already in this video, and also in this video you can find the uh, Virtio drivers. No, no problem. I leave these links in this video's description, so don't worry. So we go into this file. So sudo vim adc lib virt quickemulation.conf. You are the end of the file. Ah, oh, wrong key. And let's put this line in, so copy it quickly, paste it quickly, save the file and we can enable and start the live your this service and the virtlock the socket so sudo sem serial enable libvirt the service sudo system serial enable uh, Virt log the socket sudo system serial start uh, lib virt the service sudo system serial start virt log the dot socket there it is <coughs> now we must create a Windows the virtual machine using virt
stored the default uh, thing and this is I this I think this is what I uh, what I told before is the missing um, I think it's IP tables or net mask missing no problem uh, invert code not start default and someone will tell us what is missing what is missing pretty quickly Oh, there it is. AB tables, EP tables, DNS mask. So let's install this pretty quickly. Pack one minus s, AB tables, DNS mask, EP tables, sudo bang bang, and I can restore system CDL restart uh, lib service there it is and let's try again and I can already add the the graphics card right there so PCI host device we add the graphics card and we add the audio of the graphics card. We must do it because it won't work. Begin installation. After I installed uh, the virtual machine, I shut it down uh, because I have an NVIDIA graphics card and whoever has an NVIDIA graphics card won't be able to install the drivers because he will get the error 43. So you have to add two things. You have to add the vendor ID and do and add whatever you want, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc, etc, and add the KVM hidden state on. After you add this, Windows won't be able to recognize uh, that this is a virtual machine and NVIDIA drivers uh, will uh, be allowed to install. So you just go with this command uh, and uh, the name of the virtual machine, like Win10, in my case. There it is. And you add the lines and uh, save the configuration file. You see, it's right there. And there is save the configuration file, start the virtual machine, install the drivers, and everything should be working fine. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below asking for help if something isn't working as it should be working. Uh, I don't know, share this video with other interested people in GPU pass-through. Uh, check the description for the, the useful links. And as always, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye!